Little Goldilocks was a pretty girl who lived once upon a time in a far off country. She was rather a mischievous little maid and could not resist teasing her pets. So one of them scratched her and then she would no longer play with them. She got up and trotted away into the wood behind her mother's house and it was such a warm pleasant day that she wandered on and on until she came into a part of the wood where she had never been before. Now In this wood there lived a family of 3 bears. The first was a great big bear, the second was a middle sized bear, and the third was a little teeny tiny bear, and they all lived together in a funny little house. Goldilocks stopped when she came to the bear's house and began to wonder who lived there. "I'll just look in and see," she said, and so she did. But there was no one there, for the bears had all gone out for a morning walk. whilst the soup they were going to have for dinner cool upon the table goldilocks was rather hungry after her walk and the soup smelled so good that she began to wish the people of the house would come home and invite her to have some but although she looked everywhere under the table and into the cupboards she could find no one and at last she could resist no longer but made up her mind to take just a little sip to see how the soup tasted The soup had been put into 3 bowls, a great big bowl for the great big bear, a middling sized bowl for the middling sized bear, and a teeny tiny bowl for the teeny tiny bear. Beside each bowl lay a spoon, and Goldilocks took one and helped herself to a spoonful of soup from the great big bowl. It was so hot with pepper that it burned her mouth. Still, she was very hungry, so she thought she would try again. This time she took a sip of the middling sized bear soup but she liked that no better for it was too salty but when she tasted the teeny tiny bear soup it was just as she liked it so she ate it up every drop without thinking twice about it when she had finished her dinner she noticed three chairs standing by the wall one was a great big chair and she climbed upon that and sat down oh dear How hard it was. She was sure she could not sit there for long, so she climbed up on the next, which was only a middling sized chair, but that was too soft for her taste, so she went on to the last, which was a teeny tiny chair and suited her exactly. After a while she got up and began to wonder what she should do next. There was a staircase in the bear's house. and goldilocks thought she would go up it and see where it led to so up she went and when she reached the top she realized it was the bear's bedroom in the middle of the room stood a great big bed on one side of it there was a middling sized bed and on the other side there was a teeny tiny bed goldilocks was sleepy so she thought she would lie down and have a little nap first she got upon the great big bed but it was just as hard as the great big chair had been so she jumped off and tried the middling sized bed but it was so soft that she sunk right down into the feather cushions and was nearly smothered i will try the teeny tiny bed she said and so she did and it was so comfortable that she soon fell fast asleep whilst she lay there dreaming of all sorts of pleasant things The three bears came home from their walk very hungry and quite ready for their dinners. But oh dear me how cross the great big bear looked when he saw his spoon had been used and thrown under the table. WHO has been tasting my soup he cried in a great big voice. And WHO has been tasting mine cried the middling sized bear in a middling sized voice. But who has been tasting mine and tasted it all up? cried the poor little teeny tiny bear in a teeny tiny voice with the tears running down his teeny tiny face. When the great big bear went to sit down in his great big chair, he cried out in his great big voice. WHO has been sitting on my chair? And the middling sized bear cried in a middling sized voice. WHO has been sitting on my chair? But the teeny tiny bear cried out in a teeny tiny voice of anger. 
who has been sitting on my chair and sat the bottom out by this time the bears were sure that someone had been in their house quite lately so they looked about to see if someone were not there still there was certainly no one downstairs so they went up the staircase to their bedroom as soon as the great big bear looked at his bed he cried out in his great big voice who has been lying on my bed and the middling sized bear seeing that the coverlet was all rumpled cried out in a middling sized voice who has been lying on my bed but the teeny tiny bear cried out in a teeny tiny voice of astonishment who has been lying on my bed and lies there still hearing the three bears goldilocks woke up and was very frightened to see them standing beside her she hopped out of bed and in a second was out through the open window never stopping to wonder if the fall had hurt her she got up and ran and ran and ran until she could go no farther always thinking that the bears were close behind her and when at length she fell down in a heap on the ground because she was too tired to run any more it was her own mother who picked her up because in her fright she had run straight home without knowing it